Hello and welcome to your 27th Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to um, fix how our input field looks. Um, right now, it's pretty ugly. So, what we're going to do is we're going to import an application called Crispy Forms. And Crispy Forms um, works with a lot of major frame, uh, CSS frameworks like Bootstrap and Foundations. So, it will allow us to style our forms. Um, now, it's not the only way you can style forms. You could actually go into your forms.py file in the class and set up um, some... Where's my forms.py file? You can set up some styles in here. So, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use crispy forms. And then uh, in one of our future tutorials, I'll actually show you how to style a form yourself. All right. But I like the easier perch first and then... Uh, We'll take the more in-depth perch later on. So let's get started. All right. Uh, first thing we need to do is install Crispy Form. So how do we do that? Well, you go into your terminal, kill your server, control C. I'm going to clear my screen. And we're just going to do pip install um, Django hyphen Crispy hyphen forms. All right. So this is going to get install the latest package of Crispy Forms. And there we go. All right, I'm going to rerun my server, so let's come back here. And then go ahead and open up your text editor. Go to your settings. Um, let's close out what we don't need here. We don't need any URLs. We don't need any views. Now go to your settings in your master file. So settings.py. And right above the user apps, let's go ahead and add uh, crispy forms. So crispy hyphen, uh, underscore forms. I was going to say hyphen underscore forms. All right. So now we installed the app. <clears throat> now, next thing we need to do is tell it what CSS framework we're using. So if we go all the way down, I like to put it down here where my static files are. Um, we'll go right above static URL. All right, and we're just going to put, uh, since it's a uh, settings variable, we're going to make it all caps. So it's going to be crispy underscore template underscore pack is equal to a string. All right, and that string is going to be boot, well, not caps, lowercase boot strap three, because we're using the CSS bootstrap three. Framework, all right. <clears throat> um, let's spell that right. Here. Yeah. All right. So um, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our signup.html file. That's up here, and we're gonna import the um, crispy form template tags. So what we do here is. We're going to go and load it. I should say not import. Load our template tag. So load crispy underscore forms underscore tags. All right. So now we Im or load the template tags so we have access to them. Then we're going to come down here right next to the form. And we're going to give the pipe symbol. And then we're going to say crispy. All right. So just like that. Go ahead and save it. Go back to your browser, and we're on unsubscribe, so we need to be on sign up. Sign up, and there you go. Well, you're probably like, "Yo, Tom, that still doesn't look good. That still looks like crap." All right, but if you notice when we click on it, we get the nice little highlight, like Bootstrap gives you. So, yeah, you're right. That does look like crap. So let's go ahead and fix it. Now go ahead and open your forms.py file. Sue so, forms.py. And then right below your forms, we're going to go ahead and import a class called form helper. So from crispy underscore forms dot helper import form helper. All right. Now this gives us a class and it's going to allow us to, um, 
control what is displayed by crispy forms. So what we want to do is remove the label because that that is what is kind of throwing this whole thing off. We don't need a label here. It's kind of just pushing this down. It's not meeting up with the button correctly. So that's all I want to do is remove the label. So how do we do that? Well, go ahead and move class meta down a little bit. And then right up here, we're going to do helper. We're going to create a variable. Helper is equal to, and we're going to say form helper to the class. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and pass it a new uh, setting, if you will. So helper dot uh, form show labels all right, is equal to false. All right. So if you go back and refresh, I'll wait for my server to catch up. There we go. I got an error somewhere. No. Go back and refresh. Nothing changed. Well, that's because we got to go now change our template. Okay. So now go to your uh, sign up template, sign up.html. And right below crispy form tags are loading our crispy form tags. We're going to go ahead and put another template um, tag in here. So we're going to go ahead and say crispy form, and this is our context variable that we're passing here, crispy form. And then we're going to say form.helper, all right? So we're passing our context variable, and then we're calling our context variable and saying, hey, we want helper on this form itself, all right? <clears throat> and we're going to come down, and we're just going to replace this right here. So now we're going to do... Um, Curly brace percent symbol, and we're gonna say crispy uh, form. All right, and close it out, save it, and go back and refresh. I don't think the server needs to restart for that one. And as you can see, now we got our um, our label removed, and then we got a nice little input box that matches up with our button. I think that looks really nice. Um, so there you go. All right. That's how you design a, um, a uh, input or a form using crispy forms. Man, I'm dragging that. I feel like crap. So um, now we need to just do the same thing in our unsubscribe. So let's just go ahead and copy this one and go over to unsubscribe. Oops, we should have copied both of them. Let's copy both of these. Copy and go to unsubscribe. And then right below extends. Let's go ahead and boom. There we go. And then let's change this one. All right. Curly brace, percent symbol, crispy form. And then boom. Save. Save it. And let's go check it out. Unsubscribe. Up here in your browser. And we should have the same look. Boom, there you go. And we should probably test it out. So let's just go back one. Because I don't think we have any emails in here. Unless you do. I don't have any emails in here. So let's just uh, go ahead and do support at mastercode.online. Subscribe. Now I should see this in the admin. Should have went to my database. It did. All right. So let's go to unsubscribe. Just want to test to make sure it's working. I want to send you guys on your way without with something not working. So we'll do support massacred online. And now we should be un, are able to remove it. And if I go and refresh that, boom, there we go. So now we got a nice, nicely designed uh, input field. All right. So um, like I said before, you don't have to use crispy forms. You can do it. Um, on your own, uh, especially if you're using your own C CSS. Um, but since Crispy Forms is there and it's you know created for us, is why not use it? So that's why I choose to use it. Uh, and in, in a future tutorial, I'll show you how to style your forms yourself uh, in your forms.py file. But for now, uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we add more functionality to our newsletter app. See you.